Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm going to be sharing um, our short thought from Proverbs today with you. So it's my birthday at the end of this month, and um, I have a couple of scenarios for you. What would you think or say if I said, if you want, you can get me a card for my birthday? But what would you think if I said, you must get me a card for my birthday. I think in my first question, you'd feel happy with the choice, <laughs> happy of um, being able to get me a card, or if you'd forgotten or were too busy and you didn't have to, you wouldn't feel bad about it. Whereas in my second question, well, it's more of a demand <laughs> and you may feel guilty or even stressed about getting me a card. I think I know which I would rather somebody say to me. <laughs> but what's that got to do with Proverbs chapter 2? Well, let's read it. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight, and cry aloud for understanding. And if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come unknowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. So you may have noticed in the first few verses that I gave a focus to the word if. This word implies you need to make a choice. The words there are not forcing anyone to pursue wisdom and understanding. It's an active decision we need to make. We need to make that choice. What the Bible's saying here is that if we do choose to pursue these things, then we'll find that they come from God. In verse 6, it says, for the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. It's all coming from God. And the Lord will freely give to those who ask. Verse 10 says, for wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. If you ask from God, he will give it to you. He'll freely give it. It also talks about what we will find when we ask and receive wisdom and understanding. It says that pursuing these things, asking for these things and receiving them, that God will give us success and protection. So my question to you is this. Will you choose to pursue wisdom and understanding? It's not a demand from God. It's a choice that we need to make. Is that a choice that you want to make? Reading Proverbs, as Maria said in her previous video, um, is a great way to start that journey. Um, to read Proverbs and just get a glimpse of what God is saying about wisdom and understanding. So let's pray together. Lord, I thank you that you're not a God who is demanding and oppressive but I thank you God that you are a God who gives us such free will and choice a choice to run after these things 
that are so good and so precious. And we know that wisdom, understanding, these things will lead to success, they'll lead to good things, Lord. I pray you would help us to seek these things with all our heart. Help us to run after them. Help us to find them, Lord. And we ask that you bring us to them because we know that you are a God who freely gives good gifts to his children. Amen.